Hello and welcome to an Avado Tuts Plus tutorial. I'm Adi Purdila, and in today's video, you'll learn how to use Elementor templates in your WordPress website. Now, Elementor has become the go-to page builder for WordPress, and for good reason. It's super simple to use, and you don't have to write any code. You just choose the designs you want and customize them to your liking. Now, probably the best part about Elementor is the big template library it comes with. Now available on Envato Elements as well, you can easily get any of these and add them to your website with just a few clicks. Then, tweak colors, typography, and layout. That's what we'll do in this tutorial. Here's how we'll break it down. First, we'll install the Elementor plugin that will make this whole process possible. Then we'll discover two ways of finding and downloading Elementor templates. In the third part, we'll add an Elementor template to WordPress. And in part four, we'll customize that template. Finally, in part five, we'll talk about using Elementor template kits, which are basically sets of templates suitable for designing entire websites. Now let's kick things off with installing the Elementor plugin. Here I have a demo installation of WordPress on my local machine. And at the time of this recording, I am using version 5.4.1. Now to download and install the uh, Elementor plugin, you would go to plugins, add new, search plugins. Here you just type Elementor and where it says Elementor page builder, install. And once that's done, activate. And that's it you are now ready to use the Elementor page builder. Now, there are a few ways of downloading Elementor templates. The first way is to go to elements.envato.com slash template kits. You can click this button and that's gonna take you to the Elements page that has all of these Elementor templates. And you can find the one that you want. Let's say, for example, this one. And you can hit download. And that's going to give you a zip file. Now, to import that template in WordPress, you need to install a plugin made by Envato that is called Template Kit Import. It's this one right here. Same drill. Install and activate. Now, to load the plugin that you just downloaded, you can go to templates, import, and here you can choose the entire zip file that you downloaded, or you can choose individual JSON files. So in my case, I'm probably gonna load, let's say, aboutus.json. So click this button, choose that file, and hit import now. And now the template has been imported. You can find it right here and you're pretty much done. Now this is method number one and it requires basically two steps. One, download the template. Two, import it in WordPress. There is another way and that's by using another plugin called Envato Elements. It's this one here, install and activate. Now, the advantage of using the Elements plugin is that you no longer have to go to the actual Elements website and download a template. You can do it directly from WordPress. So it's a very simple process when you first activate it. You just enter the email address that you use to sign up to Elements, hit continue, and it might require you to generate a token, which you can then paste in here to link your Elements account to your WordPress website. I've already done that, so now it's taking me directly to the template library. So here you can browse premium templates and also free templates. So let's open up this one where it says cybersecurity. We can see the entire list of templates and let's choose home one. You click on it 
and then you hit import template and that's it so these are two ways that you can find and download elementor templates now to add and use an elementor template in wordpress here's what you do you can go to pages create a new page i'm going to call this about us and if you remember we already downloaded an about us template so here i'm going to say edit with elementor and in here i'm going to click this little add template gray button and from this you can go two different ways you can choose a new template from this list you can even search for one like so or you can go to my templates and you can find the templates that you previously downloaded either with the direct import plugin or with the Envato Elements plugin. So what you do is you hover on the one that you want and you hit insert. And that's it. You've now successfully added that template to your WordPress site. Now this might look a little bit weird, but that's because it respects the theme that you're currently using and our theme uses this content with but we can change that no problem when we want to customize the template and once you're happy with the changes you hit publish and if you have a look you can see the final page now alternatively you can also use an element or template the following way. Let's exit to the dashboard and let's go back to the WordPress editor, back to pages, and let's create a new page. Let's call this contact us. Edit with Elementor. And here you can use this button to open up the Envato Elements plugin. And here you can find a template that you like. Let's say, for example, we go to cybersecurity and we select contact us. And this is actually a good example because it illustrates the difference between the pro version of the Elementor plugin and the free version. You can access most templates on the free version of the plugin, but there are certain templates that are only available for the pro users. Like for example, this home three template, this is only available for pro as well as contact pricing. And that's pretty much it. Just for the sake of this uh, demo, let's choose product landing. Okay. So here you can import the template or you can actually create a new page from this template, but let's hit import. If you want, you can also create a new page from this template. So let's say products, create page, and you can then open it again in Elementor and make your necessary changes. Once you're happy with it, hit publish. And here it is. So two different ways of adding and using Elementor templates uh, in your WordPress website. Now, what about customizing those templates? It's really easy to customize an Elementor template. If you applied the template to a page, you can go to Pages, About Us, for example, Edit with Elementor, and this will open that page in the Elementor editor. Here, you can add elements. You can open up the global settings. If you're a pro user and you can change multiple properties globally, uh, and then you can also select each section individually and you can alter various properties. For example, on a section, you can change layout and you can make it stretch. For example, you can alter elements related to style. So if you want to add a background color or if you want to add a background image, you can do that no problem. 
borders, uh, elements regarding typography, and you can also get access to some advanced options like setting different margins, paddings, Z indexes, and so on. You can also select individual elements, like for example, this image. You can replace it. You can choose the image size, alignment, caption, width, opacity, and so on. You can edit text really easily simply by entering your text here or clicking this little icon. And that's going to open those properties in, um, in this left sidebar. Now, you can always right-click a section or an item, and you will get various options for that. So if you want to delete it, for example, you can either click this little button right here, or you can right-click and hit Delete. You can copy and paste various elements. So I can select, for example, this image, right-click, copy, and I can go in here, right-click, paste. And once you're happy with the results, hit Update. Now, what I showed you here is just the tip of the iceberg. You have a lot of controls depending on what kind of element you're choosing. So for example, it can alter colors, typography, and so on. This is a very versatile editor or page builder, whatever you want to call it. So now once we're done with the changes, we can click this little icon and that's going to open up that page on our front end. Now, what's up with these uh, template kits? Well, we've been using template kits in this uh, tutorial. A template kit is basically a set of templates that you can use for whole website designs. So a template could be for the home page, but a template kit will include the home page, contact, products, and so on. So a great example is this uh, MediPlus template that we saw here. If we uh, open up the preview images, we can see that we have layouts for a home page, services, medical counseling, and so on. We can even see those when we load a template in WordPress. So if we go to Envato Elements, where it says uh, template kits, Let's open one of these premium kits. Yeah, we have templates for home pages, menus, about, specials, contact, reservations. So this is basically a template kit. And you can use it to style your whole website, basically. You're not limited to just one page, but you have multiple options for multiple pages. And adding one is very, very simple. You just select the uh, template you want and you just hit insert like I showed you previously. Now, before we wrap things up, I just want to give you a few tips for working with Elementor. Number one, keep in mind that every template is customizable. So, even if you don't like certain things when browsing for a template, you can always change them later. Number two, you can use Elementor templates for updating your existing website and not just for creating a new one. It's often a great way of breathing some new life in your old website. Finally, number three, use Elementor blocks for smaller tasks because sometimes a full page template might be more than you need. Blocks are smaller individual sections that can also be mixed together to create the desired page. With that said, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to add them down below. I'm Adi Pordila, and until next time, take care.